Welcome to the Knowledge Catalog. This is a continuation of the series Grade 9 Science. Actually, this is more like Grade 9 Biology. And so this is still Biological Sciences and this is our fourth learning competency which uh, is uh, towards explaining the different patterns of non-Mendelian inheritance. If you have your learner's module with you, open them in Unit 1, Module 2, pages 4 to 8. Let's begin. This session is divided into the following parts. The first part is an activity, activity number one, entitled Phenotypes and Genotypes in Incomplete Dominance. Part two is a discussion about codominance. Part three is activity number two, Mystery Ball. Let us begin with part one. Activity, activity number one is entitled Phenotypes and Genotypes in Incomplete Dominance. It has the following objectives. The first one, explain incomplete dominance pattern of inheritance. And then the second one is illustrate by means of Punnett square, a cross involving incomplete dominance pattern of inheritance. Realize that incomplete dominance is a non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance. If we are going to have face-to-face -face, um, instructions, you will be needing the following materials. First is an activity sheet, which actually is found on your books. The second one is manila paper, and then the last one, a marking pen. Okay, so for activity number one, we have the following. Um, just uh, focus on the following. Okay, so number one is you need to read the problem. In four o'clock plants, R is the allele for red color, and W is the allele for white color. Two pink flowered four o'clock plants were crossed. Show the possible outcome of the cross between two pink flowered four o'clock plants by using the Punnett square. I will be giving a moment to do this part of the activity. If you have continued to watch this video, that means you're ready for the second part. Read the given problem. Now, another cross was made involving a red flowered four o'clock plant and a pink flowered four o'clock plant. Show the possible outcome of the cross between two pink flowered four o'clock plants by using the Punnett square. I will give you a moment to finish this part of the activity. If you have decided to continue, let us now move on. Let us answer question number one. How many types of gametes will each parent produce in problem number one? In problem number two. Question number two. What is the phenotype of a heterozygous four o'clock flower? Question number three. What are the possible phenotypes of the offspring from the cross? of the parental plants in problem number one. In problem number two. Question number four. What are the possible genotypes of the offspring from the cross of the parental plants in problem number one? In problem number two. We are done dealing with the questions. I hope you have already finalized your answers. Let us answer them. The answer for question number one, problem number one, two types of gametes for each parent, since their genotypes are RW and RW. Problem number two, one parent will have one type of gamete and the other two types of gametes, since their genotypes are RR and RW. Answer to question number two, pink flowers. Answer to question number three, problem number one, pink and red flowers. Problem number two, red, pink, and white flowers. Question number, answer to question number four. Problem number one is RR, RW, and WW. Problem number two, RR and RW. 
That ends activity number one, phenotypes and genotypes in incomplete dominance. The second part of this session is going to be a discussion regarding codominance. We will be focusing this discussion particularly on cows. So notice that the first cow right here is red. It's actually just considered to be red even though it looks quite brownish. This one right here is white. This one right here is called Ron, or RW. Codominance is a non-Mendelian pattern of inheritance where both of the dominant traits are expressed in the phenotype and the genotype. You remember incomplete dominance where the dominance of each of those alleles is only expressed in the genotype and not in the phenotype because neither of those two dominant traits are expressed. Instead of expressing red and white, it expressed pink. That ends the discussion for codominance. Remember that the expression of traits is going to be done in the phenotype and the genotype. Activity number two, mystery bull, is the last part of this session. We have the following objectives. The first objective is list the genotypes of the bull and cow in the given problem. The second objective is diagram and complete a Punnett square. The third objective is give phenotypic percentages of the offspring. The materials to be, need to be used are the following, manila paper and marking pen. Of course, this, these are applicable if we have face-to-face -face instruction. Read the following problem. Mang Marcelino owns a purebred owns purebred red cows. In his farm, he noticed that after a, after a typhoon several months ago, all of the fences that separate his cattle from his neighbor's cattle were destroyed. During the time that the fences were down, three bulls, one from each neighbor, mingled with his cows. For a while, he thought that none of the bulls found his cows, but over the months, he noticed that all of his cows are pregnant. He suspected that one of the bulls is the father. Which bull is it? Help Mang Marcelino look for the father by solving the given problem. This det determine the possible traits of the calves if a red or er bull is mated with a red cow, number one. Next is a red RR bull is mated with a white cow too. Next and last, a roan RW is mated with a red RR cow three. Note that you have to illustrate your answers through a Punnett square. Question number five is as follows. Will you be able to trace the father of the calves? What are the possible phenotypes of the calves for each cow? Question number six. Do you think you will make Mang Marcelino happy about the result of your investigation? Question number seven. How are you going to explain it to him? Question number eight, how would you apply what you learned to improve the breeds of livestock in your area? Question number nine, what possible suggestions can you give to animal breeders in your area? Now that we have already encountered the questions, let us deal with the answers. I hope that you have already finalized your own answers before you proceed to this part of this video lesson. The answer to question number five is yes. Cow one will have red calves. Cow two will have roan calves. Cow three will have red and roan calves. Answer to question number six is yes.
answer to question number seven is answers may vary. Answers to answer to question number eight, answers may vary. The answer to question number nine is as follows. So in the first Punnett square, you see there that you all have red offspring in the cross between two red cows. The answer to question number nine, we have a possible answer here. So animal breeders can crossbreed animals for them to get desired traits that will improve livestock in terms of meat quality and milk production. Let us now proceed with the second one, with the second uh, Punnett square. So if you perform a cross between a red and a white cow, you will get grown offsprings. In the last Punnett square, if you perform a cross between a roan cow and a red bull, you will be getting the following. So may mga red, merong roan. That ends activity number one, phenotypes and genotypes in incomplete dominance. This is, this, okay, if I'm not mistaken, this is session number eight. All right, so it has the following parts. The first part is in activity number one, phenotypes and genotypes in incomplete dominance. And then a discussion about co-dominance and then activity number two, mystery ball. So yeah, let me correct the previous thing I told you. Uh, the title of that activity was Mystery Ball. Yeah. This is the Knowledge Catalog. It is a brand being developed by a teacher creator, yours truly. And I am a high school teacher in the Philippines and I love developing content I find useful and needed to better my instruction. And yeah, apparently I am living somewhere with a lot of dogs. Okay, your support will lead to more unique contents and perhaps dog food. Uh, you may subscribe to this channel so, so, to support your, to share your support and to show your support. I'll see you in the next video.